The fight against cancer is a battle we can all relate to. Whether you know someone who has cancer or whether you yourself have been the one to face the disease head on. You may be surprised by some of the people you know who have had prostate cancer, including both of Alabama's U.S. Senators. Oh, it was a surprise. Yes, it was. And uh, you ask yourself, uh, how did this happen to me? And, you know, what do I need to do? Well, about 16 years ago, uh, I was uh, uh, diagnosed with prostate cancer. I had surgery. I'm alive. Uh, and I would tell every, every man that's 40 years old to have a PSA test. This year, 3,300 new cases of prostate cancer will be diagnosed in Alabama alone. 600 men in Alabama will die from the disease. If you look at the national numbers, our state is falling far behind other states in keeping these men alive. But a contingency from Alabama recently went to Washington, D.C. to try to turn things around. Robert Young Jr. of Birmingham was just 47 years old when he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. I had been taking my yearly physicals, so he was able to look back at my prior PSA exams and say, okay, you know, there, there, there was a problem with the numbers, and the numbers had elevated. Not only were they high, but they had elevated um, quickly in the last year. Six years later, Robert is cancer-free, but he's one of the lucky ones. Alabama is third highest in the nation when it comes to men dying from prostate cancer. The reason it's the uh, death rate in Alabama is so high is because of the lack of early detection. Why is that? Well, it's multifactorial. People scared to get checked, uh, lack of access to care, uh, no insurance. All, all, of, the, all of those factors uh, play into it. Advocates, including Dr. Moody, are hitting Capitol Hill to try to change that. It's an easy sell for Senator Sessions, who was diagnosed with prostate cancer 10 years ago and sponsored this year's bill to make September Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. I think Alabama's behind where we should be. We need to have more men being tested, particularly over 50 years of age. And if we do that more effectively, we'll identify these cancers earlier and people can uh, have a cure. It's a proven thing, and I am disappointed and do believe we need to do better. Physicians like Dr. Moody have taken it into their own hands to save more men from a preventable death. So one of the things we've tried to do as, as, as urology centers of Alabama is to take the opportunity for early detection to the men who otherwise wouldn't have it. For instance, the, the African-American population in the Black Belt area of, of our state, and that's been very rewarding. Over Since 2006, we've screened over, over 2,000 men. And survivors like Robert are doing what they can to get the word out and change the way Alabama men think about their health. It's a mentality thing. It's an awareness thing. It's, a, it's an idea that... Uh, that prostate cancer is not going to take away your manhood, that you just need to be, need to be checked and treated. Uh, the treatment and the diagnosis are not anything that's going to kill you. It's, it doesn't take away who you are, but it just helps keep you alive. Tonight at 10, we'll introduce you to a mother who lost her son to prostate cancer at only 36 years old. What she has to say could save someone you love, maybe even yourself. Join us for this Taking Action Health Alert only on WHT News 19 at 10.